So this video is going to be completely different. Now I know normally I start off with it, is it all good, YouTube, you know, all that shit. Well, no, if you've, you, you know, if you're watching the channel, you've not seen me actually do a proper video for possibly around two months now. I've just been doing the YouTube shorts, uh, doing the different exercises and whatnot. And it's that, that, that part of the channel has been quite successful actually. I've been getting a lot of views on the on, on the shorts. But what's been affecting me in the last sort of uh, two months massively has been mental health. So I thought I'd get my side out. Um, what I've been going through the last couple of months and possibly a lot of people of my age, anybody in the late 40s, early 50s might resonate with these sort of um, things that I've been going through. So firstly, uh, when you get to sort of my age, nearly 50, and you've been doing a very physical job for nearly 30 years, it's time to do something different. And you have that, I don't know what to do, syndrome. I don't think it's a midlife crisis as such, but you get to that point where you know you've got to change careers. If you, you know, you've got to retire now, here in the UK when you're 65, 67, so you've got to be looking at a job where you can do for another, like myself, another 15 years. Also, when you sort of get to sort of my age, you've got elderly parents, you know, I lost my father about 10 years ago now, my mum now is suffering uh, greatly with dementia, which, you know, it's one of those terrible diseases that is slow and you know, the, the, the person in front of you just does not become, you know, the mum that you knew, or dad that you knew, or partner that you knew. Also with, I've got a, a teenager now, going off to university in a different country. So it's like you've had that small person that you've seen grow up, and now she's ready to leave the house, leave the home. And it's a big, going to be a big, massive chunk of my life not there no more. Um, if you've had a, a partner that's been di diagnosed with whether it's heart problems or something else, that's another thing that can affect your mental health. And the weird thing was with me, it caught up on me, um, ironically, while I was on, on holiday. The second week of we was in we was on a holiday vacation in, in Florida. The first week we were there for three weeks. First week, great, training every day, feeling really good. And then the second week, uh, started uh, one morning training, and it all just popped in my head, and it was like wow. And then after that, I just couldn't concentrate. Every time I sort of went to train, which is my sort of escapism from it all, it all sort of popped in my head and what becomes the love of my life which is I love training it sort of became what's the word so a chore not a chore, not a chore. Not a chore. Just couldn't concentrate on it. just couldn't concentrate while just training didn't want to do it. I just didn't want to do it the worst thing is is, is 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 when you're watching these motivational videos and all that and and things just aren't clicking at all and you think oh Fuck off, will you? <laughs> <laughs> I really can't be asked. Yeah, I really cannot be asked. I mean, look at that. I mean, I've not even shaved my arms or anything, you know. So. But you've not been showering either. No, I, th I, th I think you, you sort of. Everything. Everything's. Becomes a chore. Ball, yeah, it? everything sort of, sort of, sort of becomes a chore. So if you're going through any of these things, don't worry. You know, you're not on your own at all. Now I've not got a plan of action at all of how, how I'm going to sort of get myself uh, going again. Uh, my, my first point of call is I've promised myself that by the age of 51 I've got a new career. You know I'm going to be 50 in a, in a few months time and by the time I'm 51 I want a new career because I can't, I can't do the career that I'm in now. You know, it's, it's just too physical for me anymore. I mean, I know... Um, well, you're working 12 hour days as well, yeah. and it, you just can't... You can't sustain that. 
You can, no. You can't. No. Yeah, you've no. been working really. You've been working twelve-hour days since the pandemic. Yeah. Now, strangely enough, in the pandemic, um, I got in possibly the best shape of my life. Mental health can be a weird, a weird thing. Um, it just two years ago when the pandemic really was at its height. I was in the best shape of my life for a long time. Just so weird how I was able to get my head around it really well. But then two years on, you know, I'm probably um, 30, 35 pound heavier and struggling. struggling. These things can creep on, up on you. So if anything that I've said and you're struggling with, don't worry. You know, we all uh, go through these things, but it's good just to get in front of the camera and say these things. Because you never do, you always, you have this persona where everything's okay. Yes. Yeah, and you, you do it at work as well. Yes. You hide it. Yes. I'm the go-to guy at work to get everybody... Um, Ironically motivated. Motivated and feeling good. Yeah. Yeah, if I see if anybody... If falling out, you sort it out. And, yeah. Yeah. But ironically, no one kind of cares about you in that scenario. Yeah, if you can hide it well, then then um, these things just creep up on you. Yeah. So don't worry, you're not on your own. Yeah. Maybe if if you are struggling, get your thoughts out on camera. Yeah. Or just speak to somebody. Or just speak to somebody. Yeah. Just speak to somebody about how you're feeling. Yes. Just to get it off your chest helps. Yeah. Yeah. Just talking, talking to somebody about it. Yeah. So I'm going to wrap it up there. Hopefully, the 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 next video you see will be a lot, <laughs> bit more, bit, bit, back to bit more upbeat and back to normal. I have some thoughts in my head about what I'm going to be doing. So we shall wait and see. So on that note, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. What else, babe? Leave a comment. Leave a comment. We'll catch you next time.